Let's say one thing about that guy. He's never gotten more airtime and drive time. Kind of a big deal. Now, we did have Sal Licata. You heard his voice coming in there declaring the NL East race was over. And I wanted to have more fun with it, but sometimes New York sports media that just, I mean, it's very serious, life or death stuff. So that wasn't going to happen, but we went back and forth. You can hear that on the podcast for yesterday's show when he joined us. I knew last night on his show, and he does overnights in New York. I think he does midnight to 5 a.m. It's a lot of time to fill, and there's only so many calls you could take. I knew our names would probably come up. I would have listened, but I had to sleep. But Brandon Joseph, you said you heard some of this, and, and we're going to give the audience a chance. He tried to drag us, didn't he? Oh, Sal tried. You were a main focal point of his overnight show in New York. Okay. Well, there's not much going on, right? We only have the Yankees and the Mets and, you know, the Rangers just went on a big run and the football teams are there. There's not much. I'm After glad. big wins from the Mets and the Yankees yesterday, right. he dedicated a good portion of his show to Matt and Chuck. So this was Lakata's overnight show on WFAN. Yes, and he talked about coming on with you guys yesterday. I get a text late Monday night. Hey, Sal. Uh, Dan here, I produce for, you know, 680 The Score in Atlanta, oh, or whatever wow. the hell the station is that they were all the fan in Atlanta, whatever the radio station is in Atlanta. Matt Chernoff and uh, the Chuck Something Show. I forget the guy's name. Matt uh, Matt, Nor- uh, Matt Chernoff and Chuck Something Show. How dare this guy? Put some respect on that man's name. It's it's the king. How it's, del- it's, it's fine. Lakata, this out, guy. Out of all the names on the show, Chuck has probably the easier of the two names. Now, and he gets your name right. It probably doesn't hurt that the old program director at WFN was Mark Chernoff, so he might think we're of relation. So maybe well, he might have thought it was important to get your name right. It could have been in some way, and we're not because I wouldn't get that lucky to be related. I to know I'm going to see Mark over the fourth weekend, and yeah. so I better get his nephew, son, cousin. Correct. Not the case, though. Chuck something show. <laughs> so uh, that was the introduction. That of, was the introduction. That is true. Dan Matthews didn't reach out to him to get him on the show. Well, Sal has an overarching theme that you guys thought you were getting, you know, just some pushover, uh-huh. but you weren't ready for Sal oh. oh, God. And these knuckleheads in Atlanta, and it was fun going on with them. I love it. You know, going back and forth. And like I said, I don't think that they were up for the challenge. <laughs> I don't think they were ready for what I was bringing to the table. And I could tell by some of the stuff they were trying to say, oh, that's what you're hanging your hat on in New York, that you're out to, uh, you know, the, the Mets and Yankees or the best teams in baseball. Oh, it's not what I'm hanging my hat on. It's just the facts right now. I mean, what are you guys, what are you talking about? And then they started ripping New York sports and ripping the Knicks for being bad. You know, and talking about the football teams. And I was like, don't get me started with your football team. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and listen to trash talk from some Atlanta fans and Atlanta sports talk show hosts. Please. Lakata, you have no choice. You see, when, when you have a championship city like we do, and again, I know the Canyon of Heroes has dust on it because they haven't had a parade there in a very long time, you have to deal with the trash talk because a championship is a checkmate, my friend. Please. And for those who weren't with us yesterday, I said to Lakata, somewhere along the way, New York lost its mojo. When at, there was a point in time where it was about championships and they bragged about that. Now you got guys like Lakata who go on the air and, and brag about best records in May. And and the Knicks made the playoffs. Like, what a sad sack town that's become. New York used to have balls. I don't know what happened in New York. It used to be Sinatra and nightlife and the Copa and championships. And now it's the best record in May. He wasn't done, though, was he? Before we get there, can I submit something into the people's evidence? Uh-huh. Please. He said yesterday that he was a Falcons fan. He did tell us that in the it's, middle of he was. So, you noticed that, Chuck, in the middle of us trying to, you know, get his goat. Yep. Yeah. He started, I was a Falcon fan. How the hell was he a Falcon fan growing up, that guy? Funny how he makes the hard pivot for his three listeners overnight. Oh, but, I, I'm going to guess he didn't play any of the audio. Oh, no. Because we sent him the audio. Yes, we did. He was a recipient of the audio, but he goes on to say that you guys got smoked on your own show. I couldn't find it. I wish they posted a clip of it. But <laughs> And think about it. These are the afternoon drive guys. <laughs> this is the afternoon number one show, I guess, Damn in Atlanta. That's right. And when I tell you, I smoked them. <laughs> I smoked them. Eight, seven, they were back on their heels on their show. They had this little old, little old me call in. Oh, the overnight guy from New York who must be embarrassed because of his awful take with the Mets and the NL East being over two weeks ago and the Braves haven't lost since. Guess again, pals. Pals? And we did send him the audio. And there's the difference between me and Lakata. I have receipts. 
It's why I posted the screenshots of empty Yankee Stadium. It's why we sent him the audio that he would not play on that show because he realized he could tell the tale better than the actual interview. Yeah. Guess again. And I had not heard the clip until we played yeah. it on our show, and I didn't know who he was, and he didn't know who I was, and he shouldn't have. Chuck right. somebody. Um, but when we started talking and I heard the comments, I said he can't be serious about this because anybody who knows baseball wouldn't say anything about any team at the end of May. And so when we started talking to him and I realized he was actually trying to sell this, mm -hmm. I clocked out. I was like, all right, this guy isn't worth talking to. And when I made the Danny Heat reference, either he's too young or just maybe not bright enough, you he didn't say, catch you would, it. You would say he's dense. That's he did, fine. He didn't catch it. You could call him dense. Well, That's, so I just, at that point, I literally, I was like, all right, this this guy's not, uh, this will be over in a couple of minutes, and then we'll move on with the, with the rest of the show. Well, you said it was over in a couple of minutes. Not for Sal Licata. He doubled down, and he took a call from, I guess, one of his most loyal of callers, Taco Frank. <laughs> Taco Frank <laughs> in Hamilton, New Jersey. What's up, Taco? My oh, man, Sal, uh, what's going on? I dial up Atlanta. Man, they, they, uh, they were ripping you pretty good. They're replaying your clips, and every time you come on, in the background, they're playing that uh, New York, you know, Concrete Jungle song. <laughs> they called you three or four times. They said, we got this Lakata guy from New York coming on. He's a real ham and egger. They called you ham and egger about four you, different there's times. There's no way they said that. <laughs> no, that's true. I called him a ham and egger over and over. That's a great Bobby Heenanism back from the 80s in wrestling. When you're, And Lakata's very proud of himself. He's doing overnights. And that's a good shift to have. But when you're doing drive time, it's a different sort of scenario. So he had to, you know, get himself wired to come on this show. It's a What's different up, Taco? Taco Frank. Yeah, I think Taco Can was... Can we get Taco Frank on our show? Taco Frank. Ta Says he listens. Taco was referring to the rejoin that we right. had, and the fact that we kept mentioning him before we had it on, it's called a tease. I know they're not used to that in WFAN because they just give out the phone number. Can I add one thing? It's a tease. That was a setup caller. First of all, Akata had Taco Frank. I was monitoring in Atlanta, so he had one of his jabrones call up, and this is what they were saying, as if Lakata's not listening right now on the stream. Hi, Sal. What's up, Taco? This is Afternoon Drive. You got mentioned. Good job. You win. I appreciate him getting up early. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, but was there more? Well, yeah, because you don't just let the caller have a comment. You have a conversation with the caller because that's what they do. What's well, Taco Frank. You have <laughs> you to know. engage Taco Frank. <laughs> He's a if hardcore Taco listener Frank of the show. called, waited on hold, <laughs> you're going to respect him and let Taco Frank get all his views out. Well, we learned Taco Frank has two skills. One of them is eating taco, and uh -huh. the other is writing stuff down as uh, Sal says that he bullied a bully. Buddy, ham and egg was a big one. The one guy must have said ham and egg. I, I counted about four times, I think. And uh, they, they did that even before you went on. They were saying that, you know, you got to listen. We got this Lakata guy. They said you have a little overnight show in New York. Um, I, I wrote some of this stuff down, buddy. They said, uh, <laughs> get the hell out of here. A world I need to. I put both those guys are afternoon drive in Atlanta. I put them both to shame with a, one phone call for <laughs> 10 minutes or whatever it was. That guy, Matt Chernoff, is supposed to be a bully what? on the air, make fun of everybody. He tried to. He, I think he embarrassed himself. I showed them both up on their own show. You're a bully? I'm a bully now, Lakata. Oh, he's been talking to Paul Johnson. Is that what, like, I'm a bully? No, I just, I'm not going to let Lakata come in here with that, uh, you know, New Yorkism and try to, you know, say stupid things. Please. Lakata. You have a reputation. I'm a bully. Bullied me. You bully a bully. That's what Lakata did. Hey, Sal, play the audio for your show, and then you can actually, you know, listen to it and know what happened, Lakata. Sal escalated things. He ran things up the flagpole. He said that management— Hold on. How long did he talk about oh, us? Oh, he spent more time talking about his appearance on the show than he was on the show. All right. Uh, he ran up the flagpole and wanted management to uh, kind of tell you guys how you should do your job. Oh. They could say whatever they want. What they're trying to do is build themselves back up after they just realized, oh, my God, who invited this guy on that just undressed us on our own show? <laughs> if I were their boss, I'd be like, oh, my God. We just had this. You guys can't put a guest on that just annihilated you on your own show. He just neutered you on your own show. Your afternoon drive, you're the number one sports talk show. You just had this overnight guy from New York come on and bury you, and that's exactly what I did, both of them. They couldn't hold it. They couldn't come close to me. They can't come close to me. I Not only does Atlanta stink, they stink. Those clowns. Matt Chernoff and Chuck, whatever his name is. <laughs> Chuck something, show. I'm glad he didn't know my last name. I like how Taco Frank's still in the background for the whole thing. Taco's yeah. trying to get back in. He's like, he's like uh, who was Mike Tyson? Was it Gator? They used to stand behind Mike Tyson and go, yeah, Mike. Taco Frank's the Trying hype to get man. In on the conversation. I like dude. how Frank is just yeah, a, no. hey, hey, Sal, maybe do some prep and not have Taco Frank on for 15 minutes. He's got they a, stink. He's got a hype man.
I love it. Yeah, Taco was on with us for about 11 minutes. He did about 14 and a half. Okay, so this okay. is like when there was, there was an hour on NFL Network on the Immaculate Reception. Like, it was a play that took about 11 seconds, but they stretched it out. So that's what he did. Yeah, and Sal doubled down, and he went the typical New Yorker route, and he tried to end it with just typical violence. Those guys thought, Matt Chernoff and his buddy, they thought they were going to have me in a corner and make fun of me and make fun of the New Yorker and make fun of the Mets. Ha, ha, ha. No, the Mets that. are going to Mets. Yeah, no, we did that. And they got punched in the face by oh, me. We're, we're not buddies, And I do it again way. in a second. Those guys couldn't host in New York, period. <laughs> Afternoon drive in Atlanta. He couldn't do an overnight in New York. I'd rather sleep. Hang on. I think Sal just downgraded his own shift. shift. He said, they, said shift. they couldn't do overnight in New York. Like, I think you just identified yourself on the bottom rung, Sal. Sal. Like, me, that was you, Sal. Not me. Let, that was Sal. Let me say this to Licata. I'm going to look into the camera when I say it. You don't want to make an enemy out of me. Then I'll say it again. You want a radio war? You got a radio war! No, I, Those clowns. I, I Matt Chernoff off and Chuck whatever his name is. I'm, Chuck whatever his name he is. Doesn't, he doesn't know my name, Listen and I'm happy about you and You and Sal. Licata, can, y'all do whatever y'all tell do. Tell you something right now, pal. Taco Frank, the phone line's open if you want to call. Frank, uh, please, yes. 404 yes. The New York tattletale. Listen, Lakata. Y'all, y'all, Pals. Y'all, y'all do this. Pack a lunch, bro. Do y'all follow each other now on Twitter? I don't even, Lakata. I'm not following Lakata. I got receipts. I got receipts, and please. I'll show those receipts. Oh, boy. This guy wants a piece of this. He didn't want this. He don't want that smoke, Lakata. Like, is, is New York ready for the Otis Mounds story? Like, do we declare war? We should I, just start. I'm, can we start pranking his show overnight? Can we start? Interns. We have like a dozen interns. Your job. Oh, we're huge with the truck driver community. Every, too. Yes, Dan, please. please. Your job every night now is to prank Lakata. Can you they do? Stink. Can you do that, please? And the goal is to mention our name somewhere in the call. Hey, in the middle of like talking Mets, go. I heard you with Matt and what's his name. I heard you with Chernoff and the other guy. Chernoff and yes, absolutely do that. <laughs> Tonight begins night one of pranking Lakata. Are you up for this? And that other guy, his buddy, Chuck right. something show. <laughs> the, the Matt and the Chuck something show. Chuck something show. <laughs> New York fact, City. I just want that to be now eleven to one. It's the Chuck something show. Chuck something show. <laughs>